Hey everybody, welcome back to the craft room. I am so glad that you can join me. As you notice, things look a little bit different, but I rearranged my craft room last night. It's fall, there is nice breezes coming in my window, and I like sitting here watching traffic and the people that live next door. <laughs> There's a couple of guys that like barbecue just about every night. But anyway, I enjoy sitting here in front of the window. I did bring my rocking chair back in. Um, that roller chair that I had, it's out there in the hallway. Don't really have room for it. But you guys are sitting on that shelf that you normally see behind me that has the kitty cats and stuff and my baby yarn. So I will just put a, I think it's over here. I think I've figured it out it's over here now. But I will put a little clip in here showing you that wall that you used to see all the time. So anyway, I thought I would hop in here and show you what I've been working on and what I have acquired and some exciting news. And no, it has nothing to do with painting in the craft room. <laughs> Sorry. So the first thing that I'm working on is obviously some more hats. I have this green and gray one here. These are these are both Red Heart. I'm pretty sure this one might be a crafter secret, but I think it's Red Heart. But it is definitely much softer than this. This is like sandpaper. And I started my ribbing. I have at least four, maybe five more rows or so to go on this. And then this hat will be complete. The Tunisian hat that I was doing, the flat hat, it was taking too long and I was just getting tired of it, so I frogged it. I hope you guys aren't upset with me about that. I did start another ribbed hat with it today. I have the increases done, so I am ready to start at the bottom. Or the... the <laughs> start the body of the hat. And this is that uh, Yarn Bee Purple and Gray Multi. This is what the top of it looks like so far. Like I said, I'm ready to start the bottom, or the body of the hat. So this will probably be... The next thing that I finish up, sorry, my rocking chair, and then <clears throat> I went back to the Dollar Tree tonight when I went to the grocery store because the Dollar Tree is just across the street from the grocery store, and I loved it, that yarn so much. This Premier yarn that I got that I finished up, that I got one of each of the colors that they had in their boxes except white. I did not get white. So I spent a whole $6 for nine ounces of yarn expensive but this is all the Dollar Tree Premier this one is called a royal blue that looks about right for what it is hey I think I like the way this light is and then I got another one of the uh, brightest the bright turquoise which is the one I just made the hat with I got one of the this is says Clementine and it is a bright orange color. Kind of makes it look shiny. It's not really shiny. I think that's a little blown out maybe. But anyway, it's a pretty orange. This one is called Hot Pink. And then I got this one, which is called Sun. It's a yellow. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. That's a little better. It's not as neon-y. It is kind of bright, but my light is really blowing it out of proportion here. And then I got this other one, which is called uh, Spring Green. But to me, it looks more of a, a blue color. And that's, that's about the way it looks in real life. It does not look green at all to me. So that's my new yarn. I will be making hats out of all of those. And I have some happy mail that's supposed to arrive tomorrow. I splurged and which I have to pay it back, but I spent some of our vacation money and splurged and got my happy or a Merry Christmas, happy birthday gift. So it'll be a combination of my birthday and Christmas put together. Like I said, I have to pay it back, but it's supposed to arrive tomorrow. I just checked the tracking and it's an, like an hour and a half, two hours away from me. So by 1.30 tomorrow, I should have it in my possession. 
I might do a box uh, opening or I might just open it and you guys can see it afterwards I haven't decided yet so anyway I want to thank you guys for joining me here in the craft room and I will see you sometime I don't know if we'll be back in here or it'll be partially shop and partially craft room because we get our mail and packages at the shop so if I do an opening it'll be at work at the shop the lock shop if not it'll be here in the craft room so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you right back here in the craft room for my next video.